If you're planning on starting an Etsy shop selling digital products using Canva, one of the most important things you need to know how to do is to actually deliver your product. Not only do you need to make sure that you can deliver a template link effectively, but you also need to make sure you're actually delivering a template link and not a share or collaboration link because doing so can severely harm your shop's reputation right out of the gate. What's going on you guys? If you are new here, my name is Erica. I am a mom who decided to start using my baby's nap time to build an online income selling digital products on Etsy. I started my shop in January of this year and last month was my fifth month doing this and I brought in a $1,100 that month. So I'm not some super successful Etsy shop owner yet, but I wanted to show my journey as someone who is in the thick of it. I'm a mom. I don't have much time. I'm not an influencer. And I just wanted to make some extra money online. My goal is to be completely transparent and show what can be realistically done when starting from scratch. As far as what I sell on Etsy, I sell Canva templates in the party stationary category. So think things like invites, banners, signs, and everything of that sort. And if you click on this video, then you probably are also wanting to sell Canva templates. And what we're going to cover today is one of those things where you feel like it should be super straight forward, but then you go to actually upload your product and notice that there's not anywhere to even upload a link, right? So you can't even share your template link because Etsy is requiring you to upload a downloadable file. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through two very important things that you absolutely need to know how to do in order to successfully deliver your templates to your customers. First, you need to make sure that you are delivering a template link and not a share or collaboration link. The difference between these two is imperative. A template link is where your customer gets a copy of your template. They can make edits to it and then download it with their own edits without it affecting your original original template. Whereas a share link will give them access to your template and allow them to make edits to your original template. This means that when the next customer goes to edit this template, they're going to see the previous customer's edits. And we don't want this to happen for obvious reasons. Secondly, I'm going to show you how to turn your template link into a downloadable file. This is because when you go to upload your product to Etsy, there won't even be a place for you to send the customer your template link. Etsy requires you to upload a downloadable file. So you will need to create a PDF with the link in it that you can upload as a file. I know that was a lot to take in, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through all of it step by step. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. So first let's dive into Canva. Okay, so we're here in Canva and I have this cleaning checklist digital product ready to go. So let's say you were finished with this. There's no other edits you wanna to make to it and you're ready to share it as a template link. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a name. I'm gonna put template at the beginning just so that I know that this is the template and I don't wanna mess with it. We're just gonna call it cleaning checklist. And then what you're going to do first, what I always like to do before I create a template link is first check for any pro elements. Um, so what I do is I go to download right there and then I look right here. And if it says that you're saving anything on premium elements, that means that you use pro elements in your design and you do not want to do that because that means when the customer goes to download the design, they're going to be required to sign up for pro or to pay for the pro elements in order to download it. And you absolutely do not want that to happen. You are bound to have a pretty mad customer if that does happen, which you don't want to get any negative reviews ever, or especially early on. So I'm going to go ahead and find what is the pro element. Um, I don't think it's this font here. Oh, I bet what it is is this little background. So I'm going to go ahead and click info. Yep, it says free for Canva Pro. That means that you have to have Canva Pro in order to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Theoretically, you could add something else in there to kind of spruce it up a little bit, but I'm just going to go ahead and download this as is. So when I go to share, notice that little message is gone. So it no longer has any pro elements. The customer will not be prompted to pay for it when they go to download it. All right. So now we are going to create the template link. This is very, very important. Naturally, what a lot of people want to do is go to the copy link right here. And that is how you create a collaboration link or a share link. Well, though they will get access to this specific template and the edits that they make will change this template, which will change it for future customers. Um, so what we are going to do is click see all right here, and then we're going to go ahead and go over to template link. It's not brand template. None of these other things here. It is template link and you do need Canva pro in order to create a template link. The customer does not need it in order to access it, but you do need to have it. So we're going to go to template link right here, and then we're going to go to create template link. And there you have it. It's going to automatically copy it to your clipboard. Um, but I still always just click copy anyways. So we're going to go ahead and just leave that copy, kind of set that aside because now what we are going to do, because like I said before, we can't just upload this link to our Etsy listing. What we are going to do is we are going to create a new file. You can do any size that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and do like a landscape size here. We're going to do 11 by eight and a half. And then just to have kind of like a template to work from, I'm going to type in download and this one looks nice. We'll use this first one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. I'm just going to make some edits to it. Um, we don't want this phone here. 
I'm just going to delete that. We'll come back to that in a second. And then what you want here is just to kind of have like a thank you message. So I'm going to go, thank you for, let's not do all caps and make them feel like we're yelling at them. Oh, let's turn all caps off. Thank you for choosing a shop. Just keep it super short and sweet. And then I'm going to put here just uh, kind of like a short and sweet description of how to download their file. So we'll go um, click the download or the, I'm going to put open temp template link below to access your template. And then if you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me on Etsy. So keep it super short and sweet. And then we are going to change download to open template. And then we're going to go ahead and take that link that we just created. I'm going to double click on this right here and see these little two little loops right here. And it says link. We're going to click on that. And then we are going to paste that link in there and click done. And you'll see that it says template cleaning checklist. If I were to click on this, it would take us to the template where they can go ahead and click edit template. Uh, actually, for them, it would say uh, create new template because this is my Canva account. It's saying edit template. Um, so going back to this, we are going to just kind of fill something in right here to make it look nicer. You could put like a picture of yourself. You could put a picture of the product. You could put your logo. I'm just going to go ahead and put in kind of a random logo just to fill it in right now. We'll go, we'll say MS, we'll call it MS Designs. Obviously you can change all these fonts and everything. Let's see, I like, whoops, didn't mean to move that. We'll put this in the seasons font, make it white, make this match. I love me some uh, glacial indifference for my like paragraph font. Cool. Maybe I'll make this, I'll put like a outline around this just because you want this to be, oh, that's not gonna let me, let's create a new rectangle. That'll allow me to put an outline. I'm really just showing you this here kind of on the go. So we're, this is exactly how I would do it. So we're gonna put an outline around it. I'll make this a little curved. There we go. Just kind of make it very obvious um, of where they need to click because the most problems from customers that you get when they message you is about how to download their file. So just make it very simple. Um, you could kind of go the extra mile on this if you wanted to and you could create uh, like a how to use Canva video or even just like a little guide within here or, you know, a link to a guide of how to use Canva or printing recommendations, things like that. But this is all you really need for them to download their link. So then we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to save this as, I'm going to call it download. So I always like to put um, before like the title of each of these, what it is, whether it's template, download, mockups, things like that, just so I'm very clear of what is what. So this was the cleaning checklist. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download this as a PDF. So I'm gonna click download. And then you can select PDF standard or PDF print. I always do PDF standard. Just one thing to make sure that you never do is do not click flatten PDF because that will uh, get rid of your link and you don't want that to happen. So it's okay to have premium elements on this because you're not sharing this as a template. So I'm completely fine with that right there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click download. Perfect. So that is downloaded. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over to my Etsy shop. And this is an Etsy listing that I already opened up. Uh, and under the digital files right here is where you're going to go ahead and upload that file. So I'm going to go to that file right here. And bam, that is exactly what they will be sent when they purchase your product. So they'll be able to just go ahead and download this file and then they'll be able to, op be able to open the template link from here. So there you have it. There is everything that you need to know to be able to successfully deliver your Canva templates to your customers on Etsy. That way you can have happy customers, more sales, better reviews, and be on your way to making more money. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more tutorials, a behind the scenes look at my Etsy shop, how much money I'm making, and basically all things digital product related, make sure to subscribe and let me know what you want to see. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.